the final two games of the season, the Champions League within touching distance. Can we do the unthinkable? Hello and welcome back to the channel welcome to another episode of Addicts to Victory here as today we have the final two games of the season against 6th place Man UFC and then against 18th place Norwich. Now entering these final two games we are currently one point above West Ham with a miles better goal difference. Uh, God, I mean we should beat Norwich. Norwich in 18th, we should beat Norwich which will put us on 70 points. And if we're on 70 points, West Ham would win both, have to win both their games against 7th place Everton and 3rd place Arsenal. So, I don't want to count my chickens too quickly, but I think somehow we might be getting in the Champions League. And I don't know how that's happened, but it has. So, <laughs> oh my god, at the very worst, Europa League. But the Champions League, oh... Oh, blimey, let's just go. This team, is this it? Yeah, Clara is injured. Sad. Holocek is suspended. Sad. So the team looks like this. Gunnarsson in goal. Back four of Bogle, Retzos, Martel and Emerson. Dobson DM with Sammy Laconga and Samadzic ahead of him. Blachetta's on the right wing. Paulinho's on the left wing. And Adam Ida is up front. A very good team. The team that has upset the odds all season... And put us within touching distance of the Champions League. Can they take that final step here against Man U? And all but guarantee our Champions League spot in next season. Without further ado, let's just get into the game. Good as some punting forward to Polinio, but Dudu gets there first. Dodo dragging it down the right hand side. Dribbling, Polinio trying to get there. He can't. Fernandez on the ball. Shot. Well saved by Gunnison. Throws it to Bogle. Rets off Samuel Conga. Coming to nothing. United pressing ahead early here, trying to get that advantage. Plachette with a free kick, though. Oh, round the wall and very well saved by Ramiro. Having our own chance here for out for a corner in the end. George Dobson, the captain, is going to take. He's going to whip the ball in. And Adam Ida's there at the near post. He heads it across goal, but no one's there to poke it home. Another free kick from Plachetta. Last time he forced a great save from Ramiro. Can he do it again? Plachetta. He does. Cholton won, Man U nil, 28 minutes gone at the Valley, Plachetta a beautiful free kick over the wall and right into top corner, you're not saving that Ramiro and somehow, some way, we have the lead here against Man U and somehow same way, the Champions League, I can, I can taste it, I can taste the music, I can feel it. Half time, Cholton won, Man U FC nil, a very even game, very much not much in it either way. Kind of just passing around, not many shots, but I am very happy so far, lads. Keep that up in the second half. Let's get the win. Let's get the win here. And let's let's just all but wrap up that Champions League spot. And 15 minutes. Paulinho, not having the best game, sadly. So he's going to make way. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put Adam Ida onto the left wing. He's played there quite a bit this season. Inside forward attack. And then up front, we're going to bring on following Balogun. A lot of injury problems this season, Balogun. But he's scored a lot of crucial goals, so let's bring him on here and give us give us a bit more a bit more aggression going forward. You know, another good goal scorer, Adam Ida, still on the pitch as well. We can cause some real problems for United, I think. Goal kick, Gunnison to Retzos, to Martel, Dobson, Martel to Samarzic, a wide to Emerson on the left. Plenty of space for Emerson. Into Adam Ida, through ball to Balogun, back to Emerson. Samarzic to Adam Ida, passing the ball around United, doing circles. Sam B. Lukonga to Dobson, Adam Ida. Dobson, Emerson, crosses it in, goes... Oh, Collins gets there first, cleared. Evan Nilsson, United countering. Man United countering quickly, out wide to Fernandez on the edge of the area. Bruno Fernandez crosses into Evan Nilsson, who thankfully just blasts it wide of the post. That could have been very dangerous. As uh, on the hour mark, Sam B. Lukonga's not having the best game, so we're going to bring him off. And uh, we're going to bring on Brian Garcia in his place. And uh, there's only five minutes, 50 minutes to go. Lazar Samarja is very tired. Uh, but so are other players. Oh, God. Emerson's had a good game. He's tired. Eric Martel's on a yellow card. Let's just play it out for a couple seconds more. Let's see if John Jackson has any ideas. Uh, he suggests left wing. I'm going to go Samarja. 
And they take off Smarsic and bring on Gabriel Vidovic with a bit more oomph going forward. You know, United are all out attacking. So we're playing on the counter. And if we have Vidovic as well going forward, a bit more energy, a bit more pace, the goal scoring instincts as well, we might be able to nab a second. And elsewhere, if you're curious, West Ham nil, Everton won. West Ham has just gone down to 10 men as well. So as things stand, unbelievably so, the game against Norwich doesn't even matter. Because as things stand, we'll be four points clear of West Ham with one game to play. So let's just see out the rest of this game into added time. And let's officially declare Charlton Athletic a team in the Champions League. Shout out to Chelsea in 10th. Shout out to Tottenham in 15th who are absolutely blown it this season. Chelsea United in 7th, who have absolutely blown it this season. All three of them have gone to pieces, and it has left space for Everton to climb up. It's left space for West Ham, and it has left space for Chelsea Athletic, who have just beaten Man UFC 1-0, thanks to that Pelachetta free kick. Lads, well done. Well done. Let's give out give out the praise. It's very well done. Pelachetta with a winning goal, very happy. Gunnison, man of the match with your 7.9, your clean sheet, excellent. Oh my god, I just need confirmation of that West Ham defeat. And all the, pres all the pressure that could have been on that game against Norwich, who were 18th, but still, you never know with Football Manager. All that pressure will be gone. I just need to see that magic scoreline. West Ham nil, Everton 1, show me it, load load please it's loaded and there it is west ham nil everton one. Oh my god charlton are in the champions league give me that email give me that email thomas sangard phone me up give me a lifetime contract mate give me the lifetime contract oh my god show me it oh charlton qualify for the champions league Having the sunk as low as 15th. Right, when did we sink as low as 15th? Show me. Show me. We were 15th after game 8. And then by game 12, we were 6th. And we were 4th for the majority of the season. And we will finish 4th. Chelwan Athletic, the team predicted originally to finish 18th. We made our signings. And the team improved, all working together. And now we were predicted to finish 17th at the minute. And we have finished 4th. Chelsea, gone to pieces. Currently under the interim stewardship of new gen, Kieran Day Sparrow. Who's actually done a decent job saving them. Tottenham, gone to pieces under Luis Enrique. United, God knows what happened to them. We just beat them. But we're in the Champions League. A budget of 43 mil and 8.25. Ooh, blimey. Yes, please, Thomas. We love that. Very healthy budget. All clearly a very good squad already. I think we're going to get some transfer bids for people. And we're just going to improve. We just got to improve the whole squad. And make it even better to try and push even further. Retsos wants a new contract. I'll sort that out. Don't you worry, mate. Oh, my God. Fourth. Schultz and Athletic in the Champions League. We were in the Championship last season. Oh my god. Well, it doesn't matter anymore, does it? The game against Norwich, but let's do it anyway. Let's hopefully end the season on a high of a nice big win against all, I mean, nearly relegated Norwich under Steve and Gerrard. Good work, good work, Gerrard, mate. Um, yeah, without further ado, let's just go forward to that game against Norwich. And here we are for the final day of the season against Norwich, who, if they win and West Brom lose, will be safe. So they do have something to play for at the end of the day, but we're in the Champions League, so it doesn't even matter if we somehow lose to Norwich. It will just really annoy me. So let's not do that. Team-wise, a uh, pretty similar team. Clara's back. I'll just go over it. Gunnarsson, back for Vogel, Bretzos, Clara, and Emerson. Clara back in for Martel. Midfielder, Dobson, Samuel, Conqueror, and Smarzic. And then Placetta on the right wing. Adamida on the left wing instead of Paulinho. Uh, Adamida dropping back to the left wing with Balogun coming in up top. Good team, strong team. Uh, two former Norwich players, or two wingers, both played for Norwich, uh, Ida and Placetta. So hopefully they'll get one over in their former team. And we can end this season on a high with a big win against Norwich. Jane Bogle. To Retsos. Dobson. Can we get a quick start here? Goes for Pachetta. Headed away though. Oliver. Through ball to Rashika. Norwich in behind. Rashika. 
taps it past Goodison into the net. Six minutes gone. Norwich one, Charlton nil. Norwich do have the lead. Lads, come on, wake up. Wake up, lads. Corner for Norwich. Lees Malou plays the ball in. Adam Ida clears, but Lees Malou picks it back up. Lees Malou to Oliver. Through ball to Lees Malou. Crosses into Christie, and Ryan Christie taps it home. What is happening? Norwich two. Charlton nil. I don't know what's what's happened there. I'm so glad I've already bloody qualified because Jesus Christ, what is happening here? Balogun to Clara from the kickoff. Emerson, Samadzic. Goes for Balogun, but Norwich win it back. And oh my god. Not three now. We win it. Placetta. Out wide to Bogle. Jane Bogle. Crosses into the far post. Aaron's heads away. Oh god, not three nil. Christie to Oliver. Punts it forward for Ashika. In behind. Taps it wide the post. Right, we're marking Oliver, right? Because he is just dominating us. We're not doing anything. Stop him. He is he's running this pitch. Who is this guy? Who are you? Always destroy him, please. Break his legs. Dobson to Clara. For a ball to Emerson. On the left wing, Emerson looking for a cross. Finds it. Oh, punted away, but we're back on it. Clara to Retzos. Retzos to Sambi Conga Hits the bar from distance. Aaron's to Christie. Edgar. Tarangia. Through ball to Aaron's. Unmarked. I don't know what's happened today. Lads just aren't on it. Gunnison punts it for Balogun, who doesn't even try to go to the ball. Of course, Rashika, Oliver, Obelile, Woodman, punts it forward for Rashika. No one marks him, of course. Lees Malou, Rashika, Solace. Gunnison makes the save. I Genuinely, I have nothing to say about this performance. I don't know what happened. I don't know what the hell has happened, but this team is dead all of a sudden. It's just dead. Lees Malou, corner in, comes to nothing. Half-time. 2-0 down. What the hell, lads? You're letting yourselves down. Jesus Christ. Subs. Sub, sub, subs. Uh, God. What are we doing? We are attacking. We are attacking with two pressing forwards and an advanced forward. Balogun. Oh, God. Yep. And let's bring on Paulinho. Yep. Flachetta. Dobson come forward. 4 2 1 3. Because what's, whatever's happened so far ain't, ain't it. It just ain't it, Chief. Yeah, that's all we're going to do. Aaron's with the throw. On the delay. Oliver. Aaron's. Drilling forward to Oliver. Rashika. Yeah! Lees Malou. To Solace. In behind. Dribbles. <sighs> Nothing. 3 0 Norwich. What a terrible performance. Absolutely dreadful. Sammy Laconga to Paulinho. Emerson. Paulinho. Crosses in. Balogun's there, but he just taps it at Woodman. He puts any power on Anderson in the net, but no, he just taps it to Woodman for an easy save. Vogel with the throw to Vidovic. Just passes to the other team. Cool. Candido. Stan this has really brought the mood down, hasn't it? I don't know what the hell's happened. Aaron's. Stanchu. Edgar. Aaron's no marking, no pressing, no anything. Just let him run free. Aaron's gonna cross, probably head it in. Oh, we actually won the ball. Oh, but Paulino's not gonna bother going for a header, is he? Oliver, Stanchu, Clara, Retzos. We actually gonna do something now. Balogun through ball, Paulino. You gonna do something, mate? Nope. It's gonna smash it over the bar. Of course. Vidovic corner into the box. Adam Ida's there, but it's cleared off the line by Rashika. <laughs> oh my god. Aaron's to the throw halfway line to the Stanchu. Punts it forward. Solace in behind. No one marking him. Well saved by Gunnison. Offside anyway, but... Oh, just blow full-time, ref. I can't be arsed with this game anymore. Oh, thank God it's full-time. A 3-0 loss. Oh, I don't know what's gone on. What happened there? We just beat United 1-0 and then we lose 
bloody 3-0 to Norwich. Get your act together. I'm so glad the season's finished. Oh my god. I am going to completely ignore that game. Congrats to Norwich for staying up, I guess. But Jesus Christ. Oh, can we all agree to just pretend that didn't happen? Let's just pretend that didn't happen. And all collectively, just move on and focus on that. Fourth in the league. Champions League football for Charlton Athletic. Oh. Even a 3-0 loss to Norwich won't bring my mood down knowing that. Champions League Charlton. That's got a nice ring to it, I think. Oh, the chair is a legend. Well, I don't know about that, but... Oh, God. It feels good for the pressure of this season to be over, I'll be honest with you. Oh, fourth in the league. Oh, Jesus, I'm not looking forward to next season. Champions League football. I am looking forward to it, but I'm not, because that's stress. Jesus, I, did they give me the the rundown thing? For the season report? Ah, here you go. End of season review. 24-25, the Champions League qualifying campaign. Our first season back in the Premier League. If it wants to load, which it apparently does not. Please, I just want to read this. There we go. Adam Ida, A+. Plus. Can't argue. Sigerson, B-. minus. I think he did better. Clara, an A. Yep. Logic, A+. Plus. Emerson, A+. Plus. A C for Vidovic. Seems a bit unfair. But, okay. Samarzic, B-. Minus. Okay. C+. Plus. A lot of injuries. A+. Plus. C-. Minus. Yeah. Fair. I thought all the transfers did pretty well. I'm happy. A+. Plus, of course, for qualifying for the Champions League. Average home attendance, 100%. We're going to need to increase the ground. A B- minus for the FA Cup quarters. A B- minus for the Carabao Cup final. A B-? minus. Give me an A at least for getting to the Carabao Cup final. Biggest win, 8-1 against Tottenham. Still don't know how that happens. A match to remember, 3-0 against Brighton. Okay. I, I just said it was the 8-1 against Tottenham, but we move. Goal of the season goes to Vidovic. A lovely strike from the new signing. Top shirt sellers is Retsos. We love him. And then Ida, Lokonga, Balogun, and Holojek. We love that. In the green, making lots of nice money. 1.31 in shirt sales. Team of the season. Yeah, no arguments from me on that one. As then, God. Do I, I, I must have got manager of the season, right? Fans player of the season is Retsos. Young player of the season is Ida. Signing of the season, Ida. Skull of the season, Vidovic. Top goals are at Ida. Top most assists, Plachetta. Player of the match awards, Ida. Highest average rating is Retsos. Most passes completed per 90 minutes is Captain George Dobson. Record breakers. Most overall goals by a player in a season for the club is 30 with Adam Ida. Most goals by a player in a match is Adam Ida. who got six against Tottenham. Don't know how that happens still. Most goals by a player in a league match. Adam Ida. Most player of the match awards in season seven. Oh my God. Players and Ducks is the overall best 11. Retsos gets in there. Good for him. Season review. We've just been through... Uh, board meetings, anything interesting? Haaland gets Footballer of the Year. Haaland gets Players Player of the Year. Holojek gets young pl gets Players Young Player of the Year. We love it. Goal of the season is Vidovic. Beautiful. Uh, Premier League Golden Glove goes to Allison. I better be manager. Manager of the season. How? 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 They won the league on 91 points. Where would they where would they finish? They predicted to come second. We were predicted to get relegated. So like I think I am manager of the season personally, but we move. <laughs> as that is it for today. Longer episode, I think. Uh end of season it's gotta be, I guess. We beat United and then nothing else happened. We qualified for the Champions League. I cannot wait for this next season. And I hope you can't either. I think qualifying for the Champions League in our first season of Prem deserves a like. So why don't you go drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more to see when that next episode drops going over summer transfers and the opening day of the season. And as always, I just want to say thank you for watching. <laughs>